All right, people, today I'm going to give you five more unique fish that you can get for under 15 pounds. Now, this is part two. I've made a part one of five unique fish that you can get for under 15 pounds. If you want to check that out, I'll put it up here somewhere. Oh, and also quick disclaimer, all the fish and all the prices that I'm mentioning are based on the local fish store that I visit, which is Wholesale Tropicals in Bethnal Green. Do keep in mind when you visit your local fish store, the prices may vary a little bit, but they should be in the general price range. And um, yeah, man, let's just start. Now, number five, we don't even have a fish this one is a crab and that is the white clawed crab now honestly guys this crab is beautiful it's got this purplish body and white claws and the great thing about them apparently they are fully aquatic now do keep in mind just because a crab is fully aquatic does not mean that they won't escape crabs are really good at escaping they are literally escape artists so you always need to make sure that you have a tight fitting lid and block off all the little gaps with sponges and that i've actually made a video on how to make your tank escape proof if you want to check that that out i'll put it up here somewhere but yeah if you have a tank with a tight fitting lid and no gaps you can get a white clawed crab and they just look amazing now of course because they are a crab there's always the danger that they could potentially grab a fish and eat it so just be aware of that but if you're willing to take the risk or if you just want to keep the crabs in their own little tank then they are a great choice did i mention the price well, you can get white clawed crabs for 15 pounds and I honestly believe they are worth it. All right, at number four, we have the Master Sambellus Sabrinus, also known as the Zebra Spiny Eel. And man, they are super interesting fish. They are really easy to feed. You can feed them things like bloodworms and prawns and that. And once they settle down, they are actually quite active. They also have this really unique look with this long snout and oh, they just look adorable, man. Now, please do keep in mind, they do get kind of big. So make sure you do your research and you get a big enough tank if you are going to keep one because when they're babies they are really small and it can be kind of misleading i should probably do a list on fish that start off really small but get really big hmm. Anyway, did I mention the price? You can get the Zebra Spiny Eel for £15. And yeah, man, for a unique fish like that, I think it's worth it. Now, at number three, we have the Hermit Crab. And oh, man, I can't lie. When I saw the Hermit Crabs in the shop, I was this close to buying them. It's, oh, I mean, every time I go to a fish store where they sell marine animals, I always go there straight away as well. And every time I saw them little Hermit Crabs for the marine tanks, I wanted to get one so bad, but obviously I can't because my tanks are freshwater. So when I saw the Hermit Crabs in wholesale tropical, which mainly focuses on freshwater and brackish species i was over the moon man i had to put them on this list you can get them for 12 pounds and i can't lie guys i might have to get one now the thing is they are brackish species they can live in fresh water but they need brackish water every now and then i believe it's when they're about to breed they need to go to brackish water and then they come back to fresh water so i don't know how it's going to work out i might get one test it out and see how it goes i'll keep my fingers crossed that it survives i'll probably put in my small tank where i have all the cherry shrimps that because in the big tank it might get attacked so remember to like and subscribe so you can keep an eye for that video yeah just keep in mind for now that they are brackish slash freshwater but i will do an experiment and then i'll report back to you guys now at number two we have a truly unique looking fish and that is the butterfly loach and man the reason these are one of my favorite fish is because they literally look like stingrays now they're very active and very unique and they just move about all day they might stick to the glass and eat some algae or when it's feeding time they will come down down and eat bottom feeder food as well and yeah it's just something different for the bottom feeders you feel me it's a very unique look and it just looks different now you can get the butterfly loach for 15 pounds and considering you're literally getting a mini stingray i think it's worth it i am so tempted to get some man i might actually get some the next time i go down to the fish shop man these fish are gonna make me broke by the way if you're still watching please remember to like and subscribe i'm just trying to grow this channel man anyway people we are already at number one and i saved one of the best for long people and that is the desert eagle goby or is it the desert goby <laughs> you know what i think desert eagle is a gun wait let me look it up okay yeah they're called the desert goby my bad people so yeah the desert goby they are incredible the males get this very unique color it's like yellow and blue and oh they just look amazing now desert gobies do cost 12 pounds each desert goby is fresh water um apparently they can survive with a bit of salt in there but they don't actually need to and apparently they will even breed in fresh water as well which is quite cool because when it comes to species that are kind of like fresh water water slash brackish they usually do the breeding in brackish but apparently the desert eagles so desert desert gobies will breed in fresh water once again the colors are so unique it, i might have to add them to my list to buy for my fish tank as well uh, i'm gonna need a bigger tank but yeah people that was five unique fish for under 15 pounds and if you want to check out part one then click right here